Welcome back everybody. So today we have another random abstract instead of Maya and Anul. So today we are going to take another abstract look for the overall design, the abstract look and this time we are going to take a simple primitive and then just kind of go through with it. So let's take a platonic, you can take any primitive that you want. I'm going to take a simple platonic and let's go to the polyplatonic menu and from here I'm going to increase the radius to somewhere like 2. Maybe like 3, 4. I think 4 looks pretty good. Let's go with 5. Right. So this is pretty low poly. I'm going to increase the number of subdivision I have on this to maybe like something like this. And instead of chord, I want triangles. Maybe something like this. This looks pretty good. So let's increase this. I think this will do just fine. All right. So from here, I'm going to go to my face mode. And as you can see, I have selected my soft selection. So I'm going to hit B. Uh, if you have that turned on, so make sure to turn this off. You want a simple selection and I'm going to select every polygon I have so double click on your polygon and from here I'm going to extrude this and make sure the key faces together if is off otherwise it will just extrude the whole thing so let's turn this off and scale this down to something like this hit 3 on your keyboard to visualize how your overall triangles is looking so I think right about there is fine all right so from here what I'm going to do is extrude this inside so control E or you can click on this icon and extrude this inside all right so now you have something like this all right so from here I'm going to delete this and instead of deleting this what we can do is duplicate the same face like for example you can go to edit mesh and duplicate and this has just duplicated the overall faces we have here so I can select all of my polygon and deselect my main polygon by simply hitting control on my keyboard and clicking this and then you can hit w and move this outside you don't have to move this outside you just have to select this and go to combine you just make sure move this to make sure you have all the polygons selected all right so this looks pretty good and i'm going to keep it right about here for now and i can go back to the face mode and i can select one go to select and similar and i can delete this i can select this one similar and delete this as well so now we have something like this if i hit three on my keyboard i have something like this right uh, the similar thing i'm going to do is go to translate and make this zero so it will center it out automatically and let's hit one on my keyboard so select this and go to the face mode select all the faces we have and extrude this one more time and extrude this outside all right something like this okay this looks pretty good I think I'm going to scale this to something like this and again extrude this one more time bring this outside scale this down extrude this one more time scale this down and something like this bring this up and maybe right about here and then we have something like this alright so this looks pretty good here the overall design I'm going to go to my object mode all right, so let's smooth this out the overall design. So I'm going to click on this. Let's click on this first and smooth this. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you let's smooth this first. I'm going to isolate isolate this and uh, smooth this and to about division three. And I'm going to hit Shift I on my keyboard to de-isolate this. And if I smooth this out to something like let's smooth this. We have something like this design all right which is not bad at all you can scale this down to fit them perfectly on your design which is good enough but let me just undo this all right uh, but instead what we can do is isolate this and we can delete the inner faces we have on the overall design so I can select this face and I can go to select and similar so we have all the faces and if I delete this now and hit 3 on my keyboard as you can see this stays pretty nicely all right so I'm going to select one more face like this similar and delete this so now we have pretty nice little sharp edges around the corners so this, so this will just fix the overall problem we have with the overall sphere so uh, the next thing is I'm going to smooth this out and I'm going to isolate this just to have some look and what you can do here if you want more extrusion or more detail you can hit three on your keyboard you can select some edges and you can bevel these edges or you can take some faces and you can extrude this even further to something like this maybe. So this will just give something extra to your overall design. So what you can do is uh, I'm going to select all of this right and you can go to select similar 
and then you can kind of extrude this but the one thing to keep in mind is this if you extrude this it will kind of only work with the individual faces if you are extruding multiple faces for example if i select something like select similar and control e and if i extrude this on the inside so as you can see you get multiple overall faces we have here all right so this will just kind of give us the overall control on the individual faces so i'm going to undo this and uh, again hit 3 on my keyboard and as you can see i have some extrusion going on so let me just undo this and from here i can select this and i can go to select similar and again select all of these and go to select similar select all right select similar similar All right, so I have all the faces selected, so I can hit Control E, key faces together on, and push this outside. And I think that is right about there. All right, so from here, what we can do is go into the smoothing, and I can smooth this out to something like this, maybe. So the four is pretty dense, uh, but I think this looks pretty good. I can go here, I can smooth this out to, so let's make the division to something like two or uh, maybe three and we have something like this so let's scale this down on the inside just until it fits perfectly all right it looks pretty good here so this is pretty nice and neat and ready so we can get into the overall rendering process here so i can go to my create and create a camera let's bring this camera back from here actually and i can go into my camera all right let's change the overall z depth here and i'm going to change the overall resolution on this from landscape to portrait so let's take a look all right so this looks pretty good i think i'm going to zoom into my design right about there 60 is good 60 and let's lock the camera all right so uh, let's uh, i've already set up one hdr for the lighting purpose i don't think i have to get into the overall lighting but we have something like this all right okay let's get into the shading for the shading here i'm going to click on my material on my object and go to my material actually and let's call this material surface and enter so i'm going to make some adjustment to my color maybe add something like a blue look all right something right about there and i'm going to apply the same material onto my other primitive as well the existing material surface and let's stop this render now and let's get into the surface material so i think i'm going for a pretty rough look so i'm going to increase the roughness 2.4 all right and uh, maybe 0.5 and i think i'm going to go for subsurface scattering so let's add one value and uh, maybe just turn off the opaque first so i'm going to pause this select this let's delete the overall history just so we don't have to deal with all the history and from here go to arnold turn on the opaque turn off the opaque turn off actually and let's turn this on so i'm going to make the color to the same color we had on the overall base color and from here i can turn off the base color and for the radius, I'm going to choose the same color, but for a pretty dark variation and maybe add a little bit blue in here, maybe some pink here. All right, so random walk two and make the scale to something like 0.1 maybe, All right? Maybe 0.2, three. All right, this looks pretty good. The overall design and what I'm going to do is add some coat into this. So this looks pretty shiny from here. So I'm going to add some roughness, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.6. All right, I'm going to increase more specular onto the specular as well. So now we have something like this. You can also play around with the overall subsurface scattering you have here. You can take a pretty bright color, maybe like something like a yellow, maybe 
but that doesn't suit the overall design you just have to play around with the overall look to get a certain type of look so you can pretty much if you want more subsurface scattering look you can play around with the overall scale value and that will just give you more subsurface scattering look i think i will go 4.3 maybe all right so this looks pretty good now i'm pretty satisfied with the overall design i have here and if you want to do some more uh, extra here with the overall design what you can do is maybe play around with more adding some more stuff maybe taking a sphere all right let's take a simple sphere let's scale this down to maybe like 0.1 and let's select this let's i'm going to minimize this mask this all right let's go to the perspective and uh, into the mesh network let me turn my gpu on and let's add some well before adding some randomness let's take a grid all right so you can't see the grid uh, because it's hidden so i'm going to turn on my x-ray just so you can see the overall grid here right let's add some thing like maybe three will be fine and the overall dimension will be something right about there so let's add some offset into this and i'm going to make this minus five and i think minus six will do just fine all right so this is pretty good and from here i'm going to add some randomness to this so add a random effector and let's play around so i'm going to turn off the x-ray here let's play around with the overall randomness here and from here i'm going to you don't add any rotation it's a sphere it doesn't make any sense so for the scale i'm going to change an absolute scale and uniform to one and i think we are good to go so let's get into the perspective camera and i'm going to add a new material for this let's call it stand surface and let's call the overall name to something like particle let's make this one and the color will be something like right about here something like this all right let's render this okay this looks pretty good let's add some roughness into this all right i'm going to add some code make 0.5 and the 0.4 roughness to this I think I'm going to make the overall roughness pretty flat for this as well. So I'm going to add some more roughness into this. So I think the overall design looks pretty good to me. If you want to add some background into this, what you can do is take a simple plane and uh, let's go to the overall perspective, move this backwards, all right, rotate this to something like minus 90. And actually that was translate. I didn't mean to do that. 90. and scale this up all right so now we have something like this all right this looks pretty good let's add a new material to this sand surface let's call this a simple bg and let's make this something like this color roughness will be 0 0.5 0 0.8 actually no code at all on this one and let's go to the island ipr okay so we have something like this i think i'm going to make the overall background color pretty dark for this okay so i think we have our final design so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any doubt feel free to ask me if you have any question or queries i'll be happy to answer so play around with this stuff and experiment more and more play around with the subsurface scattering and try maybe taking a different look into this dive into more primitives to create a certain type of look and maybe you'll get something interesting out of it if you do create something out of it send me on instagram i love to see all your work and with that i'll see you next time